Country Director, International Labour Organization, Vanessa Fala, joins me from Abuja via Zoom. Good to have you join us. Thank you and good afternoon. As we um, celebrate the Day of the African Child, we can see now that um, about 160 million, we now have um, the child labor figures now stands at 160 million in Africa, which is a rather sad development. Um, while some countries have made progress, some haven't. Why does it seem like we're not paying attention to, the, to improving the lives of the African child? Thank you so much. And let me also start by appreciating the opportunity to share some of the ILO's perspective and input during this uh, important discussion. Now, in addition to the 16th of June being the day of Africa Child, but also the 12th of, of June, it's also the World Day Against Child Labor. Um, child labor or, or the elimination of child labor is very important to the ILO. It forms part of our core normative standard, Convention 182 on the West forms of child labor, actually articulates some of the interventions that member states should implement at the national level to eliminate child labor. In addition to that, the Sustainable Development Goals, Target 8.7, also requires states to work together to eliminate all forms of, of worst forms of child labor by 2020. Five. Yes, indeed, uh, progress is very slow, as we've seen in the latest 2020 global estimates on child labor. It says that child labor has increased by 160 million globally, and of that number, you have about 70% of, of children involved in child labor, particularly in the agricultural sector. Now, understanding those figures in relation to Africa. It also means that of the 160 million, about 92 million child labor cases are in Africa. Of that, you have 40 million who are girls and 52 million who are boys. But what is also worrisome is that out of that figure, you have about 41 million of children that are exposed to hazardous work. Now, this is work that is harmful to their health and also harmful to their moral, moral well-being. Now, the efforts, of course, needs to be amplified, needs to be, um, you know, needs to, there has to be some form of agency, especially if we are to achieve the SDG target. There are very reasons why there's slow progress. Um, our continent also has multiple challenges that are actually making it difficult to address the issue of child labor, poverty, is one of the drivers of child labor. Inequality is also another form of, 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 of a driver that forces children into child labor. Of course, the, inabil or, or the inability to provide comprehensive social protection also means that parents are not able to access decent work or decent jobs so that they can stay at work and allow children to go to school. Now, it's going to require a, a collaborative effort. I'm very happy because I was actually now attending the first national children's conference on child labor. And, and it was very interesting to hear some of the solutions that are also being provided or presented by the children themselves in terms of how to address child labor. The issue around Be before we, before we get to the, the solutions you mentioned um, okay. agriculture being one of the mm -hmm. sectors where you have the largest share of, of child mm -hmm. laborers what other sectors are there and and what sort of policies in these sectors are driving this, uh, uh, this child labor Mm -hmm. So in terms of the global report, the sectors that is predominantly uh, with child labor cases is agriculture, of course, but there are other sectors such as service sector, the domestic sector, the domestic work sector, and also in, 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 in other industries. Now, the ILO, in terms of addressing some of those challenges, we have a specific intervention that we are implementing as part of the ASAL Africa in the agricultural sector, particularly here in Nigeria, we are working in Ondo State state and also uh, Niger state, where we are targeting child labor from the supply chain. So we're looking at uh, the cocoa farming, also uh, the artisan gold mining in those two, in those two states. And it looks like some of these sectors you mentioned are not, are the, uh, not regulated. Uh, so for example, the domestic sector, we understand that children are now taken as house helps in some households, and these things are not regulated. So what should be the priority areas, especially for um, government, whether at the federal, the state, or, or, or the local mm -hmm. level? 
Nigeria has quite an elaborate uh, and a comprehensive legislative framework to deal with uh, child labor. The constitution of, of, of Nigeria um, talks about eliminating all forms of child labor, but also every child having the right to education. You have the Child's Right Act as well that articulates the aspiration in that regard. And another or, or many other international instruments that the country has ratified. What is important is to expedite and really enforce the implementation of the legislation at the, at, 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 at the state and also at the community level. Effective enforcement of the legislation is very important, but also comprehensive child protection system is important. Yes, indeed, there are many children that are used as child uh, or, or as house girls. And, and it's very important that we deal with that. It's very important that the community becomes involved in that because this are taking place in communities. So there has to be consciousness in terms of reporting such cases and making sure that the government follows up on these cases to make sure that they deter many others from following suit. Um, and I like that you mentioned the community because somehow um, some of these things have now been normalized. For example, to see a child, you know, hawking on the street seems normal mm -hmm. in, in some parts of the, of, of, of the country. It's in fact, in most parts of the country and Africa. And then you also find that having a child domestic worker underaged is also normalized and nobody asks questions. So how do we drive that conversation in a place that creates awareness that this isn't normal? Yeah, no, it's it's very important. The awareness and the sensitization component of eliminating child labor is very critical. There has to be some, uh, you know, efforts towards educating the community about the negative impact of child labor for our future development, for our future economic growth as countries, but also as a continent broadly. So there has to be participation of parents. There has to be participation of of leaders. Participation of 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 traditional leaders leaders in actually being part of the people in the forefront, making sure that there is, you know, the level of awareness and understanding of how it is important to allow children to be children and to allow children to access education, quality education, so that they can be able to contribute meaning meaningfully tomorrow in terms of the growth of the country and of the continent. Absolutely. And we will continue to take a day like this to drive that conversation. Country Director of International Labour Organization, Vanessa Fala, thanks for talking to us. You're welcome. Thank you.